Captain. Hello, Bran. We just docked a half an hour ago. Any special orders at this end? No. How about Harvey? Are you sure he got away from the island? He must have. Captain Mephisto thinks he may have headed for this port. Well, if he had, we'd have spotted him. I have men posted all the docks. We're watching his house. If he got here, the first thing he would do would be to take those blueprints to Professor Forrest's daughter. I thought of that, too. My men are watching her house night and day. If he's picked up, I'll let you know. Fine. Skipper having the news of Harvey? Not a thing. He's either dead or smarter than we thought. Hey, there's Harvey now. Don't shoot unless you have to. Come on! like he's given us a slip. So what? He'll go to Professor Forrest's house to see the girl. You've got men there to take him. Well, Forrest's daughter may not be there. She's been assisting Lance Reardon in his laboratory. If Harvey knows that, he may go to Reardon's place. We'll find out. Lance Reardon, the criminologist? I don't want to mix with that guy. You want me to tell Captain Mephisto you refuse to obey orders? No. No, I didn't say I wouldn't go. All right, then. Come on. news for me? I'm sorry, Claire. The police are at the end of their rope. Your father and his colleagues seem to have disappeared completely. Actually, this isn't a routine police job. It calls for some of Lance Reardon's scientific crime detection. We've had to call him in on our last three homicides, and in one case, he located the killer with only a battered derby hat as a clue. But this is different, Reed. We've got to look for a man over a thousand odd miles of ocean. We don't even have a derby hat to start with this time. That's right. And there's no evidence of a crime, and no motive for a crime. There's a motive, all right. If news of Professor Forrest's invention leaks out, a lot of people would like to get their hands on it. Suppose you tell me something about it. Dad calls it a radiatomic power transmitter. He says that with a shortage of fuel oil all over the world, our whole transportation system will be crippled. His machine will transmit power from a central base to ships and planes. Due to the scarcity of radium, it was necessary to form an expedition and search for new sources of this rare element. Why, it's Spencer Harvey. These are the plans of your father's radiotomic transmitter. Then they probably killed Dad, too. I don't think so. Whoever's after these plans would try and keep your father alive to help them build the device. Two men got away in a fast car. I'll throw out a dragnet for those killers. Noted engineer murdered. Spencer Harvey killed by unknown assailant. Spencer Harvey, well-known civil engineer, was shot to death last night at the door of Lance Reardon, criminologist who... Never mind that tripe. Does it say anything about the blueprints? Not a word. Maybe Harvey destroyed them. No, he took them out of his pocket on the doorstep. Well, they were in his hand when I shot him. Reardon must have them. What do we do now? Have this ship ready to sail the minute I come aboard. I'm going after those prints. All right. 
My analysis on Harvey's clothes and the post-mortem on his body showed that he'd been in a country of volcanic origin. That narrows it down to this group of islands. Yes, but those islands cover considerable territory. You might as well say that forest is somewhere in the Pacific. Wait a minute. Harvey's shoes show traces of sap from the Volusia fern, a plant grown on only three of these islands. Only in three of them? Well, we can do better than that. One of these islands is called Mystery Island. That used to be a penal colony, but is now privately owned. Oh, I see. Sort of a crook's paradise. Now, where would you look for forest? Mystery Island. Right. You're a wizard, Lance. Is there anything I can do to help? Not until I get more evidence, Inspector. I guess you're right. Well, good luck, Lance. So long, Inspector. I'll keep you posted. I'll take that, Reardon. got away in a car. What was he after? Your father's blueprints. I'm afraid we're going to meet some tough people on Mystery Island. Harvey, I uh, failed to secure the blueprints of Forrest's machine. Failed to take care of Lance Ridd in order to prevent him from learning of this island. We kept Harvey from talking, sir. You hope so. You're not even sure of that. I have word from the mainland that Ridd and the Forrest girl sailed for Mystery Island soon after you left. Let me know when their ship enters the harbor. Yes, sir. Ridd is dangerous, may cause us trouble and delay. I must put more pressure on Forrest and Raymond and force them to finish the power transmitter at once. You can't be stalling on this chap, Forrest. That devil Captain Mephisto will kill us both. Not while my transmitter is incomplete. Don't get panicky. Harvey may have escaped to the mainland.
you're delaying your work in the hope of a rescue for us, I may tell you that your engineer, Harvey, was killed. He communicated with no one. You're going to pay in full for all your murders, Captain. Remember, I'm the only one who can complete the work on the transmitter. What have you accomplished? There are still difficulties. I haven't enough sustained power. I'll show you. Get the control unit. That model plane is equipped with a motor, which is activated by the radiatomic energy from my transmitter. which I haven't been able to discover. You wouldn't dare trick me. Trick you? I'd kill you if I thought I could escape afterwards. As it is, I'm obeying orders. Don't tax my patience too far. He won't wait much longer. No. And since Harvey is dead, we must contrive our own escape. How? Cut through the walls of this room. Mephisto doesn't know it, but I have devised an attachment for the transmitter that will develop a jet of radium vapor that will cut through anything, even the walls of this dungeon. Lock the door to keep them out until we're ready. Come in. Just docked, sir. Reared in the forest, girl, are on the way here. Do you want them stopped? No, I have arranged to have them stay in the mansion. I will meet them in my other personality as one of the owners of the island. I've often wondered how you change from one person to another. <laughs> no doubt you have. I'll tell you this much. The appearance of human beings, stature, complexion, and pigmentation is controlled by the molecular arrangement of the blood corpuscles. I have found a means of altering that arrangement. I understand. If I thought you really did, I'd kill you. And remember, any attempt to discover which one of the owners is my true personality will result in your immediate destruction. We're not intruding, but captain of the ship told us to come here. That's right, sir. Professor Hargraves made the arrangements. 
Uh, I'm Hargraves. This is Miss Claire Forrest, Professor. How do you, How do, you do? do? And I'm Lance Reardon. We inquired about a hotel, and we were told well, that... Come here. Quite right. There are no decent accommodations elsewhere, and we owners of the island try to take care of the few visitors we have. You're very hospitable. We have a unique arrangement here. Mystery Island is owned and governed by four of us, who are descendants of a uh, certain Captain Mephisto, governor here when it was a penal colony. And this is Mr. Armstrong. Hello, Mr. Armstrong. Our sainted ancestor, among other things, was a pirate. Fortunately, he's been dead and gone a couple of hundred years. I beg pardon, sir. He's not gone. He stalks through these rooms when it is dark, and the fishermen say he still prowls the waterfronts. You'd better attend to the rooms of our guests. Yes, sir. I'm business manager of our company. We do a little exporting, you know, sponges and a few pearls. Well, here are the other two members of our company. Fred Braley and attorney Paul Melton. Miss Claire uh, Forrest and Lance Reardon. How do you do, gentlemen? Forrest? Then you must be the professor's daughter. Of course. And I never connected the name. Then you knew my father. We all knew him. And we were deeply shocked to hear of his disappearance. He lived here at the mansion house with us. We supposed that he and his party had gone to one of the other islands. Some of his belongings are still in his suite. We expect to make a thorough search for Professor Forrest. And any help that you gentlemen can give us will be appreciated. Just consider the island your own. Thank you. Ruger will put you in your father's suite and arrange a room for Mr. Reardon. Thank you very much. Here it is. Fine. Tell me, why is the typewriter so important? Father kept a record of his trips there and any important papers. There might be some kind of a clue. Look. What's this? Route to my secret workshop under old fortress in Red Hills. See what you can find in the diary. I'll go down and speak to Ruga about Red Hills and try and arrange for a car. Picture. Don't lose your head. Dead men don't walk. Lance, he was the very image of that pirate in the portrait. We still have the map showing the location of the old fortress. We'll leave for there as soon as we can find a car. Are you ready? All ready. Better 
take a look down the passage. Reardon's due here any minute. take care of anyone who tries to follow us.
That was close. Thanks, Fair. Too close. Did you see anything of Father? No, but that's radiotomic power transmitter. Then Father's alive and somewhere in those tunnels. Wait. First, I'll take the power control unit so no one else can use the transmitter. I was afraid Reardon might outwit you, so I had some of my men posted in the caverns. They recaptured Forrest and Raymond. Come here. the radiotomic power transmitter. Oh, my men got it from the workshop, but, uh... Out with it. The power control unit's missing. It's obvious Reardon has it. We must get it back. With Forrest's transmitter as a model, we'll build hundreds of them. We'll have unlimited power at our disposal. Every nation in the world will pay tribute to me. I'll find out what he's done with the power control unit. Wait here. through all the tunnels, but we couldn't find Professor Forrest. However, our discovery of the radiotomic power transmitter proves that he's alive and still on this island. Perhaps you're right, but how do you propose to find him? My plans aren't quite completed yet, Mr. Braley, but I'll keep you informed of all developments. We four as owners of this island are as anxious as you are to solve the disappearance of your father. Thank you, Mr. Armstrong. What is this mysterious power transmitter? It might help us if we knew. Well, Professor Forrest has invented a machine to broadcast unlimited power. This, of course, would revolutionize not only transportation, but every other industry. Where is this machine now? I don't know. When we went back, it had disappeared, but it'll be useless to whoever took it because I removed the power control unit, which is a vital part, and I have it here. That's fine, eh, Argraves? Yes, a smart trick, Milton. That's very clever. I'll send it to the States by first steamer for safekeeping. Now, if you gentlemen will excuse us. Sure, yes. later. Claire? What are you up to, Lance? The control unit isn't really in that box, is it? No, but I hope no one else suspects the truth. What's on your mind? A plan to find your father. It means sticking your neck out. I'll do anything to find him. I want you to stay right here. Whoever has the transmitter by this time will have missed the power control unit and know we have it. They'll probably think it's in this box. Now, I leave the box here. They'll try to get it. With your door locked, they'll have to come through the window. I'll be hiding in the bushes outside and grab whoever shows up. And force whoever it is to lead us to Father. Right. We don't want to make this too obvious. Reardon left the power control unit in the girls' room. We must get it back. Quiet, Miss Forrest, and you won't be harmed. I want that power control unit. Where is it? 
It's in the suitcase. Open it. Get her out of here. Use the rope. Miss Forrest, where is that power control unit? It'll save us both a lot of trouble if you speak up. Longer. Don't move. Get over there. Now shut that trap door and make it fast.
Are you ready to talk? No. Lower her again. Leave her under longer. Don't move. Get over there. Now shut that trap door and make it fast. drive them off and to get Claire out of the water. I suppose you got a good look at these two men. I did. I traded punches with one of them before. And the other was the living image of your ancestor, uh, Captain Mephisto. Well, Captain Mephisto has been dead for over 200 years. I hope you're not going to ask us to believe in his ghost. The man I fought was more substantial than a ghost. That was no spirit that came through the panel in my room. We don't doubt for a minute that you and Mr. Reardon have been attacked by some kind of ruffians. Or that they're afraid that you'll find your father in this power transmitter. Of course not. Those things are all plausible. But this Captain Mephisto really strange our credulity. That's right. Let's reserve judgment on the uh, captain for a while and assure you whoever these rogues are, we'll try and help you catch them and find Professor Forrest. I appreciate your offer, gentlemen, but at the present time, I have plans that I think will work. Good. Don't hesitate to call on us. We will. Excuse me. Pardon, Pardon me, please. Mm -hmm. Oruga, is there a motorboat available that we can use this afternoon? If one of my friends has a speedboat at the pier, I will make arrangements right away. That'll be fine. We'll certainly appreciate it. Why the motorboat? We've got to recover the control unit. It's the most important part of your father's power transmitter. That's right, but where is it? At the bottom of the ocean. It was in the car that went over the cliff when I was chasing you and Captain Mephisto. Well, that explains the motorboat. You want to dive for the power control unit. That's it, and I'll need a diving helmet. Perhaps we can locate one among the fishermen or sponge divers. What can I do to help, Lance? Suppose you go down at the pier and make sure that the boat is ready. All right.
Have you learned anything about the control unit, sir? Everything. It's in the car we sent over the cliff. Then I can dive for it. Reardon has the same idea. Joe Benson owns the only diving helmet on the island, so you better get there in a hurry. Yes, sir. Hiya, Joe. Was all right, up to now. I want to rent your diving helmet. Tank for rent, especially to your kind. Staying at the mansion house, ain't you? That's right. I'd like to rent your diving helmet. Oh. <laughs> Loan it, you mean. I'm a friend of anybody that ain't a friend of that fuller brand. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. I know you will. Goodbye. Ridden's gone out to dive for the control unit. Go to the point and stand by until he gets it. Then move in on him. Fine. He's just doing our work for us. Sure. You are not making much progress on the transmitter. It's really wasted effort without the power control unit. Your alibi will hold good only an hour longer. Then the control unit will be brought here and we'll see that you finish the machine. And when it's finished? You will live as long as you make yourself useful to me. I'll be back shortly with the unit. I could hardly hide my satisfaction when he said he was going to get the control unit. I thought it was destroyed. I'm only the dark, Professor. Raymond, I can blow up the control unit and send Mephisto and his men where they belong. Come over here. This device is a remote control oscillator that controls the power transmitter from long distances. When I turn this knob, high frequency rays begin activating the radium in the control unit wherever it is. It begins to heat up with an intensity that's recorded by the needle on the dial and this tube. Why don't you turn it on full force and blow them up right away? That would burn out the machine. But it doesn't take long to heat it to an explosive power. Now let's get to work. Some kind of interference. He 
You got the control gadget. Let's go. It's working fine now. And whoever has the control unit is doomed. doesn't seem to be damaged. We'll leave the lid open and dry it off. The needle on the gauge seems to be moving up a little. Maybe the radium in the unit's throwing off energy. That looks like trouble. Get going, Claire. open and dry it off. The needle on the gate seems to be moving up a little. Maybe the radium in the unit's throwing off energy. You got the control gadget. Let's go. That looks like trouble. Get going, Claire. has the control unit is doomed. Mephisto was holding the control unit when it exploded. If so, he'll never know it was your oscillator which caused the explosion. 
You'll regret that act the rest of your life, Forrest. At least your plans will never succeed. The transmitter is useless without a control unit. But my dear professor, you're going to build me another one. Immediately. Not if my life depends on it. Your life does depend on it. Think it over carefully. overtook us when the explosion occurred. It's outrageous that such things could happen on our island. Have you any suggestions, Mr. Reardon, as to what we might do? Not at present, but we are not going to stop until we find Professor Forrest. Are you going to be sensible about carrying out my orders? Or do you need persuasion? I haven't changed my mind. Captain Mephisto! Our men were blown up by that power control unit. Reardon and the girl threw it overboard right in front of them. I know all about that. Did you follow them, do anything about it? Well, Reardon was on. I'm tired of alibis and excuses. That's what I get after all I've done for him. It looks as if a nice long sea voyage might be good for your health. You're not so wrong. If I had the money, I'd get off this island in a hurry. You spoke with Reardon. Do you happen to know the name of the girl who was here with him? No, I don't. Does she look like this? Why, yes. That's her. Your daughter? Yes. She and Reardon came here to find you, but they haven't got a chance against Mephisto. If you'll help them arrange my escape, I'll see that you receive more than enough money to get you off this island. Mephisto would kill me if he caught me. Then don't let him catch you. Write your daughter a note telling her to meet me. I'll talk it over with her and see what we can fix up. That's a bargain, Bran. Tell her to come alone and say nothing about it to anyone. Claire, I am alive and well, but a prisoner. Say nothing about this to anyone, but hurry to meet a friend of mine at... Uh, Pinnacle Rocks. When do I get my dough and how much? As soon as I'm away from here, I'll see that you receive $5,000. I'm taking a long chance on you, Professor.
left this in the mailbox for you, Miss Forrest. Well, thanks, Ruger. I get a car immediately. May I drive you somewhere, Miss Forrest? No, thank you. I'll have to go alone. Then take my car. It's uh, just outside. Thank you. Ruger, will you tell Miss Forrest that I'm back? She left a short while ago, sir. Did she say where she was going? No. As she received a message, barred Mr. Melton's car and hurried off. She seemed very excited. Hmm. Do you know where the message was from? No. But it came in that envelope. Thank you. This is her father's writing. Rocks, father. I'm afraid Miss Forrest is going into a trap. Six calling CM. B6 calling CM. Come in, DM. This is CM. Go ahead, B6. Your orders have been carried out, Captain Mephisto. The girl is here. I'll come there at once and take charge of her personally. Yes, sir. Toss that gun away. I'll be ready for him. My car's at Pinnacle Rocks. Get it and bring it back here. But you can't face him unarmed. I'll find that man's gun. Go out through the window.
Hurry, Lance. Captain Mephisto's on his way here. I'll be ready for him. My car's at Pinnacle Rocks. Get it and bring it back here. But you can't face him unarmed. I'll find that man's gun. Go out through the window. What happened to Captain Mephisto? I fired at him through the window and drove him off. This shuts off the gas. I saw him operate it. Don't touch it! We want his fingerprints. I don't see why we need his fingerprints. We've seen him. We can identify him. But we don't know where to find him. No one does. And yet he seems to know everything that goes on. Right. He couldn't operate as he does. Couldn't get his information without being someone who could come and go at will all over this island. But that's impossible. He'd be too easily recognized. You're driving at something, aren't you, Lance? Yes. Captain Mephisto may not always be Captain Mephisto. I don't understand. What I mean is this. Either Captain Mephisto wears a disguise, or he has a dual personality. Surely you don't think Mystery Island has a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Stranger things have happened. Right now, our job is to find the Dr. Jekyll in the case there is one. It might even be someone we know. Yes. Possibly someone at the mansion house. Really? Armstrong, Hargraves, Melton? You've been extremely fortunate once again, Reardon. That's right, Melton. Forced it that Miss Forrest showed up in time. And there's one thing that we gained. The note she received from her father proved that he's still alive and on this island. But this doesn't give you any hint as to where he's being held a prisoner. No, but there are some clues that I'm working on. Let's hope that they prove successful. If they do, you will be the first ones to know. Thank you, Reardon. We'll appreciate that.
If these fingerprints match any of those on the wine glasses, then we'll know that Captain Mephisto is one of the owners of the island. But suppose they don't match. Then we'll go back to the winery tonight and search the place thoroughly for some other evidence. Turn on the floodlights, Claire. Just turn around. Never mind the lights. I'll take that knob. those fingerprints. Our orders are to take her alive, so don't do any wild shooting. What are we gonna do with her? Turn her over to Captain Mephisto. He's coming here later himself. wine press door wasn't open when we left. Someone's been here since this morning. Look, there's another door. Stand guard. I'm going to see what's in there. Milton. He must be Captain Mephisto. We better go in and give him a hand. I've knocked out Captain Mephisto.
better get out of here, Captain Mephisto. There's a speedboat waiting in Emerald Cove. I'll meet you there later. Keep him covered, player. I'm going after the others. knocked out Captain Mephisto. Keep firing. You'd better get out of here, Captain Mephisto. There's a speedboat waiting in Emerald Cove. I'll meet you there later. Keep him covered, player. I'm going after the others. Me in that wine press. Who did it? Was it Mel? Let's find out. Wait, you couldn't catch him. It's too dark outside. 
life. I guess you're right. Anyhow, now we know who his boss is. Mel, he's Captain Mephisto. He's the man who's been keeping my father on this island. Don't get upset, Claire. We'll go to the mansion house and force a showdown on this business. Suppose Melton isn't there. If he isn't, then it'll prove that we're right. Now that Reardon knows who you are, you can't return to the mansion house. What will we do? We'll have to leave this island. That's the best bet. You could hide at the sponge warehouse until we can get a boat to take us away. Right. And we'll take Professor Forrest with us. Now consider the main facts, gentlemen. Melton was prowling through the winery tunnels. He attacked me without provocation. Brand, who we know is one of Mephisto's men, came to his aid, then tried to kill me. Now Melton has disappeared. Do any of you know where he is? Well, I don't. The night isn't over yet. He may come in at any minute. Perhaps. But that won't alter the facts that make Miss Forrest and me believe that he's Captain Mephisto. Mansion house? Well, yes. Just a moment. It's for you, Miss Forrest. It sounds like Melton. Hello? Yes, Mr. Melton. I see. What's that? My father! Please repeat that. I understand. Goodbye. What did he say? Did he explain? He says he can explain everything. He's only been trying to learn who Captain Mephisto is, and he thinks he's close to finding out. Did he tell you where he is? Yes. He says that if we go there at daylight, he'll deliver my father safe and sound. Your father? I knew Melton was innocent. Say, this is wonderful. It may be wonderful, or it may be a trap. Lance, if there's hope of finding my father, I'd be willing to take any risk. I'm with you on that. If you expect treachery, we'd all better go with you. Well, where is the meeting place? I can't tell you. He says that Lance and I must come alone. There's nothing else we can say except good night and good luck. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sponge Warehouse. I was never at the warehouse. But I took you there. You took Melton. He made a complete fool of you. Fortunately, I was present when he telephoned the forest girl. Where are you taking these men? To the Sponge Warehouse. You said, well, Melton said we had to clear out. He was very clever. And you were unbelievably stupid. Get back to work on the transmitter. So Melton is at the Sponge Warehouse. We'll go there and pay him off for his cleverness and be ready for Reardon and the girl when they arrive. wasn't set by Melton. He expected to rescue Forrest and meet you here. 
Naturally, I had to dispose of that plan, and of Melton, too. You cold-blooded killer! I'm sorry, but in your case, that doesn't apply. You'll remain my prisoner. No doubt your father will obey orders more willingly when he knows you're in my hands. Take her to the boat and tie her up. I have an important question to settle with Reardon. All right, get down there. You have the blueprints of Forest Transmitter. I want them. I'll make you a deal. Your life for the blueprints. How do you plan to use the transmitter? I shall revolutionize the world's industrial setup on my own terms. Or destroy those who oppose me. I see. Well, you'll never get those blueprints. Think it over a minute. That isn't long when you're facing eternity. What's your final answer? No. Step aside, Brand.
fact, you suspected Melton was Captain Mephisto. We were wrong. Mr. Melton met his death in a brave attempt to save my father and his invention. How do you know that? You have only the word of this Captain Mephisto that Melton was murdered. No, I set out some fishermen to grapple for the body. They found it under the pier, wrapped in canvas and weighted down. Is there anyone that should be notified? No. Melton had no relatives besides us. By our contract, we inherit his share of Mystery Island. You see, his private estate consists of a collection of rare books and old charts pertaining to the island. But I believe he sold those to the collectors on the mainland. And that is true. I remember one of them was a chart of the underground tunnels and passages on Mystery Island, drawn up by old Captain Mephisto himself. A chart of the tunnels? If we had that, we might learn where they're holding Father a prisoner. We'll get it if it's still in existence. I have a number of friends on the mainland who would be happy to help me get it. If you'd care to fly there, you could use the company plane. Thanks, Braley. We'll leave immediately. It's a long flight. We'd better have Ruger put up a lunch for you. I'll get it ready at once. be interested to learn that Reardon and your daughter are leaving for the mainland. No doubt to consult the authorities about bringing you to justice. No, Forrest. They'll never return. Your last hope is gone. So you'd better resign yourself to finishing the power transmitter. Reardon has discovered the existence of a chart to the passages and tunnels of the island. He's going to fly to the mainland in search of it. I have a plan to stop him permanently. Ruby is preparing a hamper of lunch. That is how we'll take care of him. Hello? Yes, this is the mansion house. Ruger speaking. Yes, Mr. Reardon is in his room. May I take a message? Yes. All right, I'll tell Mr. Reardon at once. Uh, they just phoned from the airfield, sir. Your plane is ready. Thank you, Ruger. Be long now. Our celebrated criminologist is going to find his lunch and thoroughly indigest. <laughs> Mephisto undoubtedly knows about the secret tunnel chart. Probably will try to get it before we do. That's true, but I have one advantage. I know a number of curio dealers who will help me locate it. Where do we go from there? We point north of northeast. Do a little navigating. Either this compass is crazy or I am. The point doesn't stay in one place for longer than two seconds at a time. Something's deflecting it. Have you got a flashlight or any electrical gadget in your handbag? I don't think so.
Lance Reardon, calling Lance Reardon. They don't have radios where those two have gone. Calling Lance Reardon. This is Lance Reardon, come in. The bomb failed. It couldn't have. Reardon must have discovered it. You've got to take my private plane and beat him to the mainland. Trail Reardon wherever he goes. When he locates the chart, move in. Yes, sir. Last, we've run the chart to Earth. Pembroke assured me over the phone that he bought it from Melton. You wait here. I won't be long. All right, he's left the girl outside. We'll go out the service entrance. It was nice of you to come down and open up for me, Mr. Pembroke. Not at all. I know your reputation and that your errand must be important. It is. This Mystery Island chart may be the means of saving one or more lives and catching a dangerous criminal. I'd like to help at that job. I have the chart right here. This is exactly what I need to find Forrest and hang Captain Mephisto as high as Haman. I'll take that chart.
up at last. We've run the chart to Earth. Pembroke assured me over the phone that he bought it from Melton. You wait here. I won't be long. All right, he left the girl outside. We'll grant the service entrance. This is exactly what I need to find Forrest and hang Captain Mephisto as high as Haman. I'll take that chart. He's up there. Here's a chart we came for. Take it and wait for me in the car. One peep out of you and you're finished. So you've got it, eh? Where's Rick? So well, that's it, eh? We're going down. Everything all set? Yeah, we'll be underway in five minutes. I don't think you will. Rear. Toss those guns overboard. Now, Brand, where's Miss Forrest? I don't know. Get over there. Lance, I can't understand how you found me so soon. Simple. The dead man in Pembroke's office had second mate papers on him. I checked with the maritime registry and found that he was on this freighter. Where's the chart? He burned it. Our last chance to find father's gone. Not at all. I'll have Inspector Reed get the information we want out of this man. There's a telephone on the dock. Phone the police and tell them to come down and take charge of the ship. And now, a roundup of the latest news. The disappearance of Professor Forrest again made the headlines last night when Lance Reardon, the famous criminologist, captured Sidney Brand, a criminal with a police record. Reardon claims the professor is prisoner of a certain Captain Mephisto somewhere on Mystery Island, and that Brand will be forced to tell all he knows about it. Meantime, the police are holding him incommunicado. 
This case has caused widespread interest because of an invention the professor has been working on. We've had nothing but trouble since Reardon first came here. Now this unfortunate publicity may ruin our export business. Well, after all, Forrest did disappear. And he's someplace on the island. Even that's not certain. Nothing's been proved. And as far as I can see, it never will be proved. F.A. C.M. calling F.A. Come in, F.A. F.A. answering. I've been expecting your call. Then you know what I want. Get Brand out quick. That's not so easy. He's being held incommunicado. It's up to you to get action. Your underground connection should be of some help. You've paid them enough of my money. I'm doing all I can. My men are watching the jail day and night. A chance will come if they move him. I warn you, you'd better not fail. We couldn't get any information out of you. I hope you can do better with this lie detector. We will. This machine picks up reactions from respiration, pulse, and blood pressure, which no one can control. If he lies, the indicator will fluctuate and tell me so. Now, Brand, we're all set. You'd better tell the truth to save time. I got lots of time. Shoot. Is Professor Forrest on Mystery Island? No. Lie number one. He is there. Is he rebuilding the radioatomic power transmitter? No. Lie number two. Does he have enough radium on hand to finish the job? I don't know. Another lie. What's all this talk about radio? I thought we were trying to locate Professor Forrest. We are, but if all other means fail, we're going to take a radium detector to Mystery Island. We'll help locate the radium and lead us to it. I see. And right to Professor Forrest. Exactly. Who is Captain Mephisto? I don't know. The indicator doesn't move. First time he's telling the truth, he doesn't know. Is Captain Mephisto one of the owners of Mystery Island? No. In fact, you're lying again. You'd better tell the truth. Do you know where he stays and where he keeps Professor Forrest prisoner? Well, get over there. Good work, Hell. How'd you find me? We had a man watching every precinct station. And they brought you here, I followed.
getaway. I don't know what happened to Hill. Oh, yes. They found out Forrest is working with radium. Reardon said he'd use a detector to locate it. What? Do you realize what this means? A radium detector will lead him right to this place, to Forrest, to me. Everything I've planned will fall through. And you just remembered. Reardon is flying back here today. He sent a cable to Ruga instructing him to have a car to landing strip at the other end of the island. Here's what I want you to do. Take my plane. When Reardon leaves the landing field in that car, Just think, Father will soon be free and we can all leave this awful island for good. Yes, but I wish we'd had the radium detector sooner. You seem reticent, Reardon, as if you weren't inclined to confide in us the way you used to. I've told you what happened, Armstrong. We're still convinced that Claire's father's a prisoner here, and we're determined to find him. Then surely you must have some plan in mind. As a matter of fact, I have a tentative plan. But there are good reasons why I'm going to keep it secret. Let's hope it's a good one. I trust you won't think Mr. Armstrong rude. He seems a little upset lately. 
We understand, Professor Hargraves. Good luck on your plan. And be careful. We shall. Hello, Ruga. Welcome home. I was out when you came, but I thought Miss Forrest would like some tea. Glad to see you. Thank you. And I'll take care of your bags. Thanks. What did you think of the Armstrong performance? He was certainly anxious to find out what we had in mind. I'm glad we didn't bring the radium detector here. When are we going to use it? As soon as we get the motorboat. Motorboat? I thought a radium detector was used on land. It is. But we're going to use a boat to throw Mephisto and his crowd off the scent. We'll land at North Point and work our way along the beach. What makes you think my father and the radium are on North Point? Nothing, except that he's probably in a cave. And there's several caves along the North Shore. Stop Reardon and the girl with the bombs. I know all about that. I'm going to give you a chance to make amends for it. How? By keeping Reardon from using the radium detector, which would eventually lead him right to the radium in the power transmitter. He's going to North Point by boat and start from there. He won't even get started. I hope I can depend on that. Whatever you do, get that radium detector. Yes, sir. I'll take that detector.
was a narrow escape. They wouldn't have tried to stop us if we hadn't been on the right track. Keep her headed for North Point. I'll have the detector assembled by the time we get there. So they got away again. Yes, sir. I suppose we'll have to move the transmitter away from here now. Not the transmitter, the radium in it. We let the detector lead Reardon and the girl right to their death. It looks pretty intricate, Lance. How does it work? This is the microtomic finder that picks up the radium rays. As the rays pass through the detector, they magnetize these two parallel needles. And when the radium is approached, the point of the needles move towards each other. And when it's located, the needle points meet. Right. Let's get started, Lance. The needle's getting closer. Yes, we must be on the right track. The radio must be in there. And that's where Father will be. This way. The radium should be right here. It is right here. You can thank the radium detector for leading you to your doom. These tunnels connect with a subterranean lake, which I use to dispose of my enemies. <coughs> Open the floodgates and drown the rats. Come on, Claire.
effect is ruined. Would it take long to get another one? It wouldn't do any good. Mephisto would learn about it and never allow an iridium near your father. I can't understand how he discovers every plan we make. After all, we know that he's one of the three owners of the island. We'll have to be more careful in what we say and do. You're right. Do you suspect any one of them in particular? I've sort of been wondering about Professor Hargraves. Hargraves. He was the one who arranged for us to stay here. If he knew of the secret passage to my room, he could have heard us discuss the clue that led us to where Father was a prisoner. Mephisto doesn't know it, but I have devised an attachment for the transmitter that will develop a jet of radium vapor that will cut through anything. Even the walls of this dungeon. Lock the door to keep them out until we're ready. What's up? Reardon's on his way here. We've got to get the prisoners and the transmitter out of here at once. We'd better take a look down the passage. Reardon's due here any minute. Take care of anyone who tries to follow us. up with what happened. How about Braley? He seemed pretty resentful when we brought back the power control unit. Then we searched through all the tunnels, but we couldn't find Professor Forrest. However, our discovery of the radioatomic power transmitter proves that he's alive and still on this island. Perhaps you're right, but how do you propose to find him? My plans aren't quite completed yet, Mr. Braley. Where is this machine now? I don't know. When we went back, it had disappeared, but it will be useless to whoever took it because I removed the power control unit, which is a vital part, and I have it here. <laughs> Keep quiet, Miss Forrest, and you won't be harmed. I want that power control unit. Where is it? It's in the suitcase. Open it. It's a trap. Get her out of here. is following. He's gaining. When we're around the next curve, get out and use the rope.
you think it over, there's no more evidence against Braley than there was against Hargraves. That leaves Armstrong. He was loitering in the corridor when we spoke of recovering the power control unit. Oh, Ruga, is there a motorboat available that we can use this afternoon? Yes, one of my friends has a speedboat at the pier. I will make arrangements right away. That'll be fine, Ruga. We'll certainly appreciate it. Maybe he heard our plans to go out in the motorboat and sent those men to attack us. He got the control gadget. Let's go. <laughs> doesn't seem to be damaged. We leave the lid open and dry it off. The needle on the gate seems to be moving up a little. That looks like trouble. Get going, Claire. As the control unit is doomed. It seems hopeless. Armstrong, Braley, Hargraves. There's no real evidence against any of them. So I intend to get that evidence by setting a trap to prove which one is Mephisto. I'll bait it with this detector. But the detector is ruined. We're the only ones that know that. Tonight, we'll tell the others that... Fortunately, the pressure of the water kept us away from the rocks, and I was able to retain the radium detector. I feel confident it will lead us not only to Professor Forrest, but prove the downfall of Mephisto. I suppose you realize that possession of this instrument endangers your life. I'd say that all our lives were in danger as long as it's in this house. But we have to keep it here, Mr. Hargraves. Then, gentlemen, I would suggest we place it in our vault. It's burglar proof, and only the three of us know the combination. That's a good idea. I'll open the vault. Come on, Lance. Thank you. it in there. Now we can all rest easy. None of us will open the vault unless you're present. Be careful of the wire. Did you manage it? Finally. I connected the photoelectric cell with this light. It will flash the moment anyone opens the safe. Splendid. Now all we have to do is wait.
trying to steal the radium detector when I found him. Knocked me out. I remember what happened after that. Where's Armstrong? There he is. Just a minute, Armstrong. You don't understand. I can explain everything. Yes, that you're Captain Mephisto and you came back for the radium detector. Well, you're wrong. I'm not Captain Mephisto. Well, what are you up to? Is one of the co-owners here? You wouldn't come sneaking in that way unless you were trying to conceal something. We'll find out if he's guilty. All of the lights are out. Well, it looks as if I let Captain Mephisto slip right through my fingers. Well, there isn't much to say in defense of Armstrong. Guilty or not, at least he failed to get the radium detector. It wouldn't matter much if he had. It was damaged beyond repair. I only put it in the vault as bait for Captain Mephisto. And you can depend on our full cooperation in bringing Armstrong to justice. What can we do to help? Patrol the docks. Send out word that no one is to leave the island. We'll organize our search in the morning. Good morning, Lance. Morning. Any news? Not yet, but... Hello? Yes, he is. Just a moment. It's for you, Lance. Thank you. Hello? Hello, Reardon. This is Armstrong. Oh, I know my behavior last night seems suspicious to you. But with your help, I can clear up this whole situation. I have evidence which will not only clear me of any suspicion, but it will also tell us who this Captain Mephisto is. Can you produce this evidence? Yes, I can. I'm hiding in the shack at Palisades Beach. I want you to get some film developer and come out here. But don't tell Braley or Hargraves about it. That's all. I'll be waiting for you. Armstrong says he's at Palisades Beach and wants me to bring some film developer. What new kind of trick is this? It may be an attempt to trap us, but he says he can tell us who Captain Mephisto is. Do you believe him? I'm going to play along with him and find out what happens. I'll go get the developer and meet you at the car. All right.
calling CM. B1, calling CM. This is CM, go ahead. Reardon and the girl are driving out along the beach road. Very well, wait where you are for 10 minutes. Yes, sir. Come in, Reardon. You can put away that gun. Come to the point, Armstrong. What's this all about? I know you don't trust me. Frankly, I don't. I have some film here that'll convince you. I rigged up this camera last night so it would snap a picture of anyone tampering with a vault. And I used infrared film so it could be photographed without a flash showing. Then why did you come sneaking back as you did? After all, you were one of the owners of the island. Because I don't know who this Captain Ophisto is. And if he knew I had this film, he'd kill me. Here's the developer. Let's see what's on the film. All right, player. We'll soon know the identity of Captain Mephisto. Now, if you'll put out the light, I'll develop the film. should be on the film now, and it won't be my picture. No, mine either. Drop those guns. Turn on that light.
I'm afraid Mr. Armstrong is dead. Brand must have shot him. Too bad he had to die to prove his innocence. Let's hope the film he was developing will help show us the identity of the man that we're after. The film is ruined, it's useless. This held a picture of one of two men, Braley or Hargraves, and one of them is Captain Mephisto. Reared an escape, but I finished Armstrong. Yes, his death was necessary, but it narrows the field for Reardon. He has suspected from the first that I am one of the owners of the island. Now he has only two suspects left. We must see to it that he doesn't endanger my plans to control world industry with Forrest's invention. Forrest is stalling. He could have finished the radio atomic transmitter weeks ago. I'll settle that today. My men tell me you're delaying your work in the hope of a rescue, Forrest. I've warned you I wouldn't stand for it. I've told you that the work could not progress as long as you insist upon interrupting with meaningless threats. I am neither frightened nor impressed by your piratical swashbuckling. Maybe this will impress you. You have two days to complete the work. It'll take more than two days to repair that. Kill him! Wait. Death by shooting is too quick and easy but I'll devise a more painful method for your removal. Forrest has plenty of courage. He called my bluff. I didn't know you were bluffing. In another moment, I'd have fired. The only way we can force him to terms is to capture his daughter, bring them face to face, and convince him that her life depends upon his obeying orders. That ought to do it. It will, and at the same time, leave Reardon completely confused as to my real identity. Armstrong, like Melton, met his death in an effort to uncover the identity of Captain Mephisto. Well, then you're still without a clue. Yes, but I'm not giving up. I think Mr. Reardon, as our guest, is perhaps a little reticent about voicing any suspicions that might embarrass us. However, this affair has become so serious that it is necessary to speak plainly. Well, naturally, I have some suspicions and theories. Oh, uh, by the way, this may affect your theories. There was a telephone call for you a short while ago, written by a man who said he'd expose the true identity of Captain Mephisto. Of course, that is for a price. Who was the man? Oh, he didn't leave his name, only a telephone number. Let's see, I wrote it down. Oh, I left it near the safe. Just a moment. What time did that message come in? I see, it's important to know when I was here. About a half an hour ago, I'd say. Captain Mephisto! <laughs>
Captain Mephisto. This is it. Put up your hands. You were a brave man, Reardon, to follow me here. That little fireplace is where all my enemies meet their end. As you so aptly put it, this is it. Take him, men. Want us to throw him in, Captain? One moment. Let me explain our little drama to Mr. Reardon. We were purposely led here in order that Miss Forrest might be made a prisoner. I've seen Mephisto enough to know that it wasn't anybody in disguise. That wasn't a disguise. Higgins went through the transformation and came out Captain Mephisto. What transformation? How does it work? I've never seen it. All I know is when he wants to change his identity, he goes through the transformation room and comes out Captain Mephisto, and then reverses it to go back to Hargraves or Braley. Which one? I don't know. Look, Grant, I'll make a deal with you. If you'll play ball with me, I'll get Mephisto to trade you for Miss Forrest. Not a chance. You'd never find him. I think I could manage to get a message to him. Get going. Why not do as Captain Mephisto asks? And finish work on a transmitter. He'll kill us if he don't. And he'll kill us if I do. I invented the radiotomic transmitter to supply unlimited motive power to the world through the release of radium energy. But he intends to use it as an instrument of evil and secure world domination for himself. No, Raymond, I never intend to finish it. I thought as much. Forrest, I'll give you just 24 hours to complete the job. Nothing you can say or do will make me. Perhaps you'll change your mind. Claire. Father! 
very touching reunion. Now will you finish the transmitter? Don't do it, Father. Lance Reardon is on this Lance island. Lance Reardon is dead. Well, Forrest? I have no choice. But my daughter must be released and allowed to leave the island. That's understood. But after the job is completed, not before, how soon will it be ready? It won't take long. But there isn't room enough here for a demonstration. Very well. Get everything ready and I'll have you move to a larger place. Remember, you need trickery to result in her death. I understand. Heard from Brand yet? No, sir. I must find out what happened to him. Find out why Captain Mephisto was so anxious to obtain that paper? It was all a trick to decoy me away while Captain Mephisto's men kidnapped Miss Forrest. But how did you escape the trap? I managed to turn the tables on them. Captain Mephisto and one of his men are dead. Dead? Say, this is great news. What happened to the man you call Brand? I captured him. Then there's nothing to worry about. You can make him tell where Miss Forrest is being held. Or have you tried that? No. I'll use force if necessary, but only if a plan I have fails. What is the plan? To exchange Brand for Miss Forrest. Now that Captain Mephisto is dead, Brand must be the leader of the organization. I see. And all the rest of the men will want him back. How do you expect to contact him to make the arrangements? I have Mephisto's car outside. I'll cruise around the island with the radio open. Sooner or later, they'll try to contact Brand. And when they do, I'll cut in and make a deal. An excellent idea. Well, I hope you're successful. Thank you. Calling Lance Reardon, calling Lance Reardon. Reardon answering, who is it? Captain Mephisto. It couldn't be, he's dead. I assure you, I am not. Miss Forrest is here, and I'll exchange her for Brand. Where is he? I'll tell you that after she's safe in the mansion house. It's impossible for me to take her there. But if you come here, I'll turn her over to you, providing you give me a word to release Brand. You have it. How do I get there? Come out Lava Canyon Road to the suspension footbridge. Cross it, and you'll find the cabin a short distance away. I'll start at once.
Calling CM. V1, calling CM. CM answering. Where are you, Brand? Reardon's got me tied in the car, and it's parked near the suspension bridge. He's on his way to the cabin now. Splendid. Now that I know where you are, I can finish him when he gets here. Reardon, it's going to prove fatal. I think not. Kill me and you'll never find Brand. I know where he is. Turn around, get your hands up. Now, Reardon.
Why, Miss Forrest, we thought you were a prisoner. I managed to rescue Claire, but I'd rather not go into details right now. You seem a little impatient, Reardon. I am. It's about time we got on to brass tacks about this Captain Mephisto situation. But you said he was dead. I was wrong. I met him again and wounded him in the left arm. Then all you have to do is look for a man with a wounded arm. Now that's just what I'm going to do, and I'm going to start right here. What? Why, he's accusing one of us of being Mephisto. That's an insult. Not to an innocent man. That's right. Why not just show us your left arms and let's settle the question once and for all? I'll do nothing of the kind. I don't have to prove to anybody that I'm not a reincarnated pirate who goes around killing people. Or murdering Jenkel and Hyde with the habits of a werewolf. Why, that's so absurd, it's really funny. Come on, Hargrave, let's show. Not me. Well, it seems to be the only way to satisfy them. Now you are, Lance, take a good look. Thanks for your cooperation, Mr. Braley. Oh, it's all right. How about you, Mr. Hargraves? But there's not a mark. I hope you're satisfied. Well, you can hardly blame Hargrave for being a little irritated. Forest girl when they didn't find any wound on my arm? Yes, sir, from behind the knight's helmet. But I'm more mixed up than they were. Well, you see, my dear Brand, when I go through the transformation, the molecular arrangement of the blood corpuscles is so changed that any wound is healed immediately. Uh, that's too deep for me. Let's get to more urgent matters. Is the power transmitter ready for final demonstration? Yes, sir. Forrest has it set up in the old fortress. Good. I can finish all my plans more conveniently there. Are you ready for the demonstration? Yes. This is the teletube, which must be attached to the distributor of the motor in the plane that we're going to use. And this is the television screen, which enables us to watch the plane in flight. This is the control lever that directs the plane. Ingenious as usual, Professor. We'll use the company plane for our demonstration. Go out and attach this to the plane motor. Yes, sir. There must be some clue to where Father is. We know that Mephisto visits him, and so does Bran. Claire, you've hit it. We also know Bran's car. All we have to do is spot it and follow it. You take the company plane, I'll cruise along by car, and we'll keep in touch by radio. Let's get started. on the distributor. Direct the focus of the transmitter towards the plane. If you step over here, Captain, you'll see the plane. My daughter. You said she was a prisoner. I uh, let her go. I wanted to surprise you. That's a lie. You were just as surprised as I was to see her at the plane. 
All right, then she escaped. Get on with the demonstration. I refuse to take that plane off the ground with my daughter in it. Look, she took off herself. Then she's going to fly it herself. We can do the demonstration later. Either you take control of that plane or I will. The worst I can do is crash it. Wait. All right. I'll do it. altitude? No, and the airspeed is constant. Turn off your ignition and tell me what happens. The motor's still going. I thought so. Your plane's being controlled by your father's power transmitter. What's your direction? Almost due northwest. I'll head in your direction and try to spot you. Keep your radio open. the plane. Time up. Now we'll try the plane for altitude. You'll make her black out. Come in, Claire. She'll die up there. She has no oxygen, no parachute. Bring her down. I want to see if the plane can be controlled in the stratosphere. Hold it. on that plane, she'll black out. She's blacked out already. Untie me so I can get her down.
find out what happened to Claire. Try and get her on the radio. Calling Claire Forrest. Lance Reardon calling Claire Forrest. Yes, Lance. I I'm in control of the plane again. What about father? Let me speak to her. Claire, listen carefully. Land as near the fortress as you can. Then take the teletube off the distributor and bring it here. All right, Dad. Captain Mephisto with me as bait. What do you mean? If I place this teletube in my pocket, anyone watching this television screen can follow my movements wherever I go. We're going to let Mephisto capture me again. No, Dad, he'll kill you. That's not likely. He's lost the transmitter, and I'm the only one who can build him another. It's dangerous, but we're all in danger every moment that man lives. I suppose you're right. What's my part of the job? We're hoping Mephisto will take me to his secret headquarters. Watch every move that's made. I'll take your father to the mansion, and I'll be at the radio in my car. Keep in constant touch with me. Goodbye, dear. And keep your nerve. Goodbye. Be careful, both of you. Goodbye. And Mephisto used my transmitter to send her to her death in the plane. Why, the ruthless beast. Get a room ready for Professor Forrest, please. Yes, sir. Are you sure the plane crashed? It must have. I'm going out now to search for the wreckage. Take care of him. Get him to bed. No. I'll stay here. I won't sleep until I hear from you. Perhaps she's alive, Forrest. You'd better go to bed. No, I, I'd rather wait here for news. Then I'll get you a little stimulant. You're having a chill. Lie back here. An aspirin is really what you need. I'll be right back. reception room from a secret passage behind Mephisto's picture. He's taken Dad through it at the point of a gun. Where are they now? There's a right-hand turn in the passageway. Now they're going down a long flight of stone stairs. Wait, there's a door near the bottom of the stairs. Brand is opening it by pressing a spot below the knob. Yes, what now? They're crossing a lighted room to an iron door. Rand is forcing Dad into another room that looks like a laboratory. So that's it. Mephisto's den is under the mansion house. Get to the plane and come in as quick as you can. I'm on my way.
Wait. I have a much more interesting finished plan for Mr. Reardon. We'll dress him in my costume, place him in the transformation chair, and perform the miracle of metamorphosis. You mean change him the way you change yourself? Yes, he'll be exactly like me in face and stature, and I and my other personality will capture him. It will be the perfect crime. Pick him up. Miss Forrest. You've saved our community at the expense of a hanging. But where's Lance? Didn't he come with you? He went out to find you. Why, no. He knew where I was. He must have come here. Look at this room. There's been a fight. There was. I could hear it. I'm afraid. Something's happened to Lance. Something dreadful. So he is dead. That was intended to be me lying there. You? What do you mean? With Claire's help, I traced Mephisto to this room. I had a fight with Bran and Mephisto, and I was knocked unconscious. But you escaped. Luckily, I revived as they were about to put me through the transformation process. It would have changed me into Captain Mephisto. After I came to, I knocked out Mephisto, and I chased this fellow through a passage that led to Braley's room. Then Brayley was Captain Mephisto. Brayley, my partner. No doubt I was to be his next victim, and he would have become sole owner of Mystery Island. Here you are, Professor. I, Henry Hargraves, sole owner of Mystery Island, hereby assign to William Forrest all rights to the island's vast deposits of radium-bearing pitch blend. Thank you, Mr. Hargraves. This assures the success of my radiotomic power transmitter. Isn't it wonderful, Lance? Yes, indeed. You've made a great contribution to science. I owe you all a great deal for ridding this island of Captain Mephisto. Oh, I beg pardon. I was just cleaning the passage. 